What career is right for you? What do I do? What am I meant to do? I don't know. I want to change, but what is right for me? Here are five steps. Five, five, five steps to know what your career should be. What is ideal for you? What is right for you? How do you figure out what career? You know you want to change and people are like, oh, follow your heart and follow your dream. Like, but wait a minute. What is it? What is that that purpose for me? What is that that thing that turning passion into income? What is it? And that's exactly where I was. You know, I've I've been there. It's like I was in corporate, and I'm like, I know I want to change. I know I'm something's better out there. But what? Like, what is it? How do I figure it out? And so that's what I made this video for because that's also the steps I take my clients through to figure out what is it. And if you came to this channel, it's because somehow deep down, you know, something better is out there for me. But right now I'm in a career right now. You're in a job and you're doing well and you're successful, but it's also that familiar comfort bubble. You've been doing it so many years, you're earning good money, you're making a good living, but you're not feeling fulfilled. It's more like an automatic robot and you're just doing and doing and doing. I used to be in that place, so I know exactly how it feels and it didn't feel good. On the outside, beautiful job, paycheck, money, benefits, car, everything. But on the inside, mm -mm, it's not right. But what do you do? How do you really step out of, out of, of that comfort? And, and, and you know, here's the thing. A lot of people just stay stuck because they're like a ah, dream life. Oh man, that's just way too hard. It's way, it's really impossible for me. And so the gap between where you are now and, and really that big dream, it's like, no, 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 no. That's way too difficult and way too far. And then nope. And then you stay stuck. And that's what I do not want for you. I want you to go for it, but by taking small steps, you don't have to quit your career today. You don't have to, you know, resign right away. And then, and then what? No, we need money, right? Money. We just, we need money. I needed money, but it's about the transition. And you can start doing that today by taking small steps and eventually the ripple effect, you will be able to quit. I'm not asking you, I wouldn't want any of my clients to just quit and drastically change, you know, like 180 degrees. No, that's not possible. I didn't do that. Do not take the leap of faith. Do not take the leap of faith. You know, don't jump without a parachute. I always talk about the plan, the nine to five escape plan is why I created the course, create, you know, escape your nine to five plan. It's what, it's what I coach my clients with. So if you want to discuss all of that, please check all the links right below in the description. Everything will be outlined for you. But for now, I want you to know the five steps to begin figuring out your ideal career. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos, write a comment, hit the like button so that YouTube knows, hey, you gotta listen to Rachel because this is my big dream. I want to inspire more people and I want to grow on YouTube and it is really a dream for me. So I'm putting it out there. I'm putting in the effort and I want you to share and just, I, I really want to grow and, and reach more people. So that is my, um, one of my dreams one of my dreams we always have big dreams you have to have big dreams so what can you do if you want to know where you want to go you need to know where you are right now and I said that really slowly even though I'm usually talking really fast but I'm just gonna repeat it because it has to be clear to you that if you want to know where you want to go you need to know where you are right now that is really important to remember. So how do we go from here to there? A lot of people are like, well, turn your passion into income. So follow your passion, follow your heart and just do what you love. Okay. So you love to travel. That's a passion. How does it making you income? You love good food. How is that making you income? Like you have to be realistic here. It's not all about your passion and your heart. When I say turn your passion into income, you really have to make sure that it's matching income. So where do you start? Step number one is write down a list of all the things you like to do. Write down all the things you are passionate about. Yes, I said passion, I know, but this is only the first step. You're gonna, you're, I'm gonna get there and explain it. So write down all the things you really enjoy doing. Just 
bam, 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 bam. All things you really enjoy doing. It could be cooking, it could be organizing, it could be speaking, it could be making videos, it could be something creative, painting, art, drawing, um, driving, biking, running, like all of the things. Just list, 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 okay? So that's number one. Number two, write down the things you do not like because it's equally important to know what you don't like. It's not just about, oh, I like this and I like that, I like that. If you really choose a career and a dream life, you have to know what you like, but you also have to know what you don't like because that will really help you to specify your choices. Number three is write down, let's say three to five gifts or talents. And here's, this is a really important step because this is really about what is your talent? What is your gift? What are people, here's a good way to, to, to know this, is what are people complimenting you for? What are people around you telling you, wow, you're really good in this? And when I say people, make sure you ask friends, family, and colleagues. Like a circle of different environments. Don't just ask your family, don't just ask your friends, don't just ask you know, your colleagues, but ask different kinds of people because they will tell you, oh, you're good in this. And this is really a fun exercise. It's pretty scary asking someone like, oh, what, what, what is it something that, I'm, that you think I'm good at, right? But the moment they tell you, those are your gifts and your talents. You know, what are people complimenting you for? Oh, you're really good in organizing. You're really good in analytic thinking. You're really good in speaking. You're really good in communicating. You're really good in, in writing these emails. You're really good in storytelling. You're really good in painting. You're really good in creating, uh, organizing events, like all of these things, like what are you really good at? And, and so what are people telling you? So those are your gifts and your talents. And that's really, really important. And now comes step number four. And number four is to match those gifts with a career. Match that with a career. So it's not just about, oh, I'm passionate about this and that, but what career goes with that? You know, if you love to travel, what, what career goes with that? If you love to organize, okay, what career goes with that? So match it with a career. Match it with a realistic career. Number five is make a step-by-step -step plan to achieve that career. And this is really important because now you know, okay, this is the career that I really want. Now I'm making step-by-step -step plans. So um, that means, and, and I love that, I'm always talking about the next step and the next step and the next step because it's not about taking a big leap. No, it's about taking micro steps. You're still in a job right now, which is great because it's giving you money, it's giving you income. So on the side, what can you do to make these steps to go follow your plan towards that dream career? So this could be, who are you talking to? Make conversations with people who are in that career. For me, when I wanted to travel the world and, and have this freedom lifestyle and, and have an online business, I started connecting with people who were living that dream life of mine. And I started asking them questions and connecting with them and get inspiration and motivation. When I wanted to start on YouTube, I watched so many other YouTubers and, and asking and talking to them, like and taking a course. You know, I took a course to know the ins and outs of YouTube. I, I took a, you know, when I was writing my best-selling books, I talked to other authors. I, you know, it's like, what can you do step by step to get closer to that dream career? And this is really important. And this is why so many people get stuck. It's like, oh, but it's way too difficult. It's way too far ahead. It's like the top of the Mount Everest. No, you can take micro steps and that will create a ripple effect and small steps will create you know, a big dream come true. That's exactly what I did with all of my goals. It's how I help my clients and it's, it's how you can start doing it. You know, it's that transition. I never talk about taking the lead because it's really the transition from where you are now in your current situation, in your job, opening up yourself to possibilities, making the right connections and network and, and taking these small steps so that in some, you know, in some months or, or a year, you can achieve it right and and don't think like oh it's going to be in 10 years from now or it's going to be you know it's never going to happen for me no i see it over and over with my clients it's like wait a minute start doing that today and in five years you'll be like a different person right and 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 
I love seeing these transformations. I really, really love seeing these transformations. So I hope these five steps are really helpful to you and you can start now. Create your lists. And if you need help, talk to me and I'd be happy to help you and take you through it and um, brainstorm with you and make that plan, step-by-step plan. Once you have the plan, yes, you can achieve it. That's exactly what I did, what you can do, what many people do. And please don't be the majority of like, oh, it's not out there for me and I'm stuck. Oh, please, 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 please go and achieve your dream life because it's out there for you and life is amazing when you achieve it. So don't give up keep dreaming and keep doing take the steps take action because a vision without action is a nightmare and action without a vision is just a daydream so go ahead and do it and i'll see you next week make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that red little notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos hit the like button and comment below i'd love to hear from you guys and check the description below as well for all the links and the goodies and the freebies for you Thank you. See you next week.